once again, I've got a very special guest with me right now, a young man, uh, just 20 years old, Neelkant Bhanu Prakash. She is the world's fastest human calculator. He received the award on August 15th after he won the first uh, uh, gold medal that India has actually seen in a very long time at the Mental Calculation World Championship. Now, this is part of the Min Sports Olympiad, which is held in London everywhere, an extremely pre prestigious event an extremely prestigious uh, award and a gold medal uh, that he's brought, uh, uh, you know, and he's uh, brought fame and pride to this entire country. Neil Kanter actually uh, already has a series of world records against his name, 50 Limka records as well. So uh, this is as smart and as brilliant and enterprising as it gets. Thank you so much, Neil Kant, for speaking with us. Of course, uh, heartiest congratulations to you. Neelkan, I pardon me for my ignorance, but uh, I don't understand this too much. Can you help me understand how do we judge the fastest human calculator? Sure. So, um, ma'am, just like how uh, sprinting is a sport, mental calculation is the sprinting inside. And mental calculation is to do these calculations as quickly as possible. So, um, a lot of you might be thinking, is this tricks? Is it... Is it methods? Is it something like Vedic math or whatever? But mental calculation is determined only by a sheer methodology, just like how we judge sports. Sports, how do we do it? We say the fastest man on earth is Usain Bolt. It's because he can run that 100 meters in nine seconds. So this is pretty similar to that. In fact, um, the BBC have called me the, the Usain Bolt of mathematics. And this is because uh, I'm able to calculate at the speed of... Um, of 12 numbers per second. And this is judged by looking into addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and analyzing how many calculations I am doing per second. So yeah, that's uh, broadly how uh, things are judged. And this Olympics is where all of these people come together yeah. to have a championship. Well, you know, I hope someday uh, people actually say uh, that uh, another athletics gold winner is actually Neil Kant uh, of that sport itself. Uh, and that's how the, you know, the, you, you know, the change in reference really happens. I'm sure you, you know, uh, that's how big and famous you will become. But Neil Kant, uh, give me an example, maybe from this championship itself. Give me an example of the kind of ma uh, mental math problems you're actually able to solve and in how much time. Um, depends. It can be a lot of stuff. But I think something which I think everyone can reverberate is where I would probably want you to show uh, the, the capacity of a human brain and what we are capable of doing. So, ma'am, can you pick a random two-digit number, any number out of your, your particular uh, mind? Just throw a random two-digit number at me. From 11 to 99. 21? 21. So what I'm going to do, ma'am, is I'm going to add 21s to 21s as quickly as possible. And I'm going to say the results out so that you see how quickly one can calculate. So just to get a perspective and also celebrating human cognition. So I'm going to start off 21, 42, 63, 84, 105, 126, 147, 168, 189, 210, 231, 252, 273, 294, 315, 336, 357, 378, 399, 420, 441, 462, 483, 504, 525, 546, 567, 588, 609, 630, 651, 672, 693, 714, 735, 756, 770, 7798, 819, 840. That's 40 times in under 20 seconds. Okay, well, wow, uh, that's like Shankar Mahadevan singing the breathless, only you're actually doing mental math and adding 21 repeatedly. I, oh, oh, thanks so much for that, uh, uh, you know, demonstration, because, you know, for, for the common man who's usually extremely scared of math uh, and at the thought of math will want to run away, this will be such a difficult thing to imagine. How did it all begin for you, uh, Neelkant? How did it start for you? Ma'am, I, um, so I necessarily, I mean, I'm, I'm as normal as anyone is. And uh, if, if I tell that I'm gifted or anything, it's a lie because um, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's something which you can build. I mean, people in general, kids all around the world, kids all around the country are uh, people who try to do and understand math as it is from the world around us. And um, this is something which we observe, right? I mean, a kid in a park 
will take steps on the tiles alternatively, tries to go in patterns. And I'm sure you would have done that while you were a kid as well. Is 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 a natural, innate human sense to make patterns and understand this. It's just that we lose this out later because math phobia hits us after the school curriculum gives us calculations which we cannot do. So, um, I mean, in my my journey, I actually was good at it and I found my way through it all the way to the top. And uh, in every single step, I uh, reflected back on what does this mean to how I think. And I, together today, believe that um, understanding and learning math, not because of its uses, not because why people say, Math is important, people. Math is important. Learn it. It's in included and important for you to do better in life. Changing that narrative to something like, let's use math to understand the world around us because children are good observers. And when the definition of math education changes, I think everyone can have an experience like mine and do excel in, in this field, which, which usually are, people are extremely scared about. It's because math is promoted as, an, as a science and not an art form. Because not a lot of people are scared of language or painting. Hmm. Oh, yes, absolutely. I don't think anybody has ever seen it as an art form. Uh, Nilkan, you know, until I, I met you, uh, um, I thought I was de pretty decent at math. Within my family, my aunt is actually very good at it. She loved math and she, she used to just, you know, solve problems. Uh, you know, in her free time through the day, she now teaches math to uh, to senior children, uh, senior students. But is there anybody in your family who uh, you know who's equally involved or, 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 or you know or linked to mathematics as you are now? Um, broadly speaking, my grandfather um, is an engineering dropout who did commerce later on and went on to do a government job. Uh, my dad and mom are both. Um, graduates who took biology in their 11th and 12th because they didn't want to do math, specifically speaking. And I think in that sense, I'm the first one who actually mm. even pursued math after school. So yeah, quite not a reference otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Was that a problem at home? Was, you know, when the initially realized where your interests lied and your leanings were uh, you know, um, was it a bit of a uh, tr challenge for them to accept it? Uh, I would say at the end of the day, not a lot of people think that, um, I mean, me always, my experience was to look at math as a way in which I look at the world around me. And this is something which I wanted to replicate. So um, so when I, when I said that I want to do math later on, I mean, it was quite well accepted because... I mean, my family understood that there is a purpose and I always, I mean, I'm, I'm personally driven by purpose. I mean, my achievement today is is good, great. I take pride in it, sure. But this just marks the beginning of what I can contribute to the society at large. So I think seeing that drive, I really never had a problem in them accepting. Yeah. Although, although they really wanted me to badly do engineering and hence I was at IIIT Hyderabad for a year, but then I convinced them out of it and I took to St. Stephen's College in math later on. Yeah. So, so I know you say that, you know, you also see this as an art form and, and, and as a skill, but how, how do you intend to use this uh, for the greater good? This is something that you've mentioned in some of your other interviews also, and it struck me as very interesting. Um, in, in a world of computers and calculators, um, Neelkant, uh, how do you see using this skill to a greater benefit? Absolutely. Since I come from the academic angle, math, as someone who's watching this, we think mathematicians are academics. I mean, we usually think people who do math have to do something with math later on in their life. So uh, my couple of thoughts here are uh, that one, math does not... Um, I mean, this is some question which I had internally when I started off was, why does doing calculations reflect and help anyone? Because we have a calculator, we have a computer who can do the calculations for us. And I'm sure a lot of people here are thinking that Bhanu is the world's fastest human calculator. Will he say calculations are important, knowing mathematical answers is what I want? Absolutely not. Reason is that, um, and I'll give you a small analogy. When we have Usain Bolt run for those nine seconds and get the gold medal, do we ask him why he would not use a car instead? Hmm. We would not. If a musician is covering a song which is already there 
and covered by created by someone else a musician outside do we ask him why are you singing this again because there exists this song already no we appreciate the art as it is because we know for a fact that this is a characteristic of a human being which will make them start liking and loving usain bolt generated an entire generation uh, inspired an entire generation to take up physical sports as a physical health issue so i mean i mean something which 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 i intend to do by saying that the calculations which i do is food for my brain and can be the food for your brain and regardless of whether you are an artist regardless of whether you are a whether you are someone who's a historian i personally love history and art for for one and i personally see that there is a lot more intersection towards what math and calculations to do good to you than it might for even someone who's into technology and science because math is good brain food and it's like the push ups and pull ups for um, for what we would say the journey of brain gym is and that's what i as an individual or as an as someone who has won this championship my bigger cause and from the smaller achievement i say that the long long shot ahead is to make this brain training a popular culture and make people understand that math is an enabler and this enabler has lot more edges than we think it does well all the very best to you and, and and i hope you achieve all that you want to in your life thank you so much for joining us extremely proud i'm sure your you know families are uh, over the top uh, uh, you know with the achievement that you've brought in and i hope many more come your way thanks nilgan so much for speaking to us here on mirana thanks a lot mom thanks a lot and it's been like a good experience and um, and finally on one note i would say the vision math program which i want to push ahead and the global program which there is is to undo this phobia one step at a time make people explore this and i would say that i, I mean it's not a success when mathematicians do it the success is when every single individual does it and takes it ahead yeah you know i wanted to say exactly that and i think the biggest service you can do to the field of math is if you can help some people get rid of their fear and i hope you do that thank you so much nilkan for joining us well we are completely out of time on this edition of the urban debate thank you for being with us have a good night <laughs>